What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and dive face first into the drama. And today we're gonna to be talking about Faith Evans and why she's so upset with Lifetime for this new documentary series that's coming out about her and her life with Biggie Smalls. So Faith Evans is claiming that this new documentary series that's coming out in regards to her life was supposed to be something that was positive, that was putting out things to the public that we didn't know about Faith Evans, but instead Faith is saying that it actually brought up bad memories, you know, dealing with Tupac, dealing with, you know, Biggie, dealing with Little Kim and Charlie Baltimore, and it's actually rehashing some negative things that happened to her in her past, and she's upset about it. So a question that I would like to pose to Faith is that you're not embarrassed that you married Stevie J or a little bit upset with yourself for actually going through with the marriage to a man that was close to Biggie that helped Biggie produce his first album. And Biggie thought that him and Stevie were so close that he actually named Stevie his son's godfather. You're not embarrassed about that or upset? All right, moving along. So when I look at this situation between Stevie J and Faith, one thing comes to my mind and that's a payday, it's a check because we understand the character that Stevie J is and you can't sit here and say that Faith is a household name these days. So she had to know that some type of negativity will be talked about during this documentary because let's just keep it all the way 100. Faith is not that damn interesting, all right? She's not, all right? She's made some good songs. I'm not trying to take anything away from her. You know what I'm saying? There are a few songs that I like from Faith, but at the same time, the drama that has been in her life is more captivating than Faith Evans, all right? But anyway, let's take a look at what she had to say in regards to this matter. All right, Faith Evans is furious over Lifetime's new doc, Biggie and Faith Evans, about her life with her late rap legend husband, Notorious B.I.G. The singer told Page Six she got duped into participating in the sensational doc. I feel upset that I'm attached to it. I was told that it would be a positive piece with a little more of my personal background. It wasn't pitched to me as a story rehashing the sensational lies events that took place, she said. I am beyond that and have no need to open old wounds, damage repaired relationships, and above all, solve the legacy of Christopher Wallace, aka the Notorious B.I.G., she said. A trailer for the piece, which airs January the 10th as an episode of the network's Hopelessly in Love series, opens up by describing their relationship as the most controversial love story in hip-hop history told by those who lived it. The series promises that Faith Evans is ready to confront her pain and revisit the most intimate moments of their relationship from their whirlwind engagement to Biggie's ongoing affairs with Little Kim and Charlie Baltimore to the East Coast and West Coast rivalry that led to Tupac and Biggie's demise. The Tupac stuff, the different women, how many times are people going to talk about that? It was supposed to be a love story and it turns into cheating and little Kim, we've come so far past that. Lifetime's all about drama, Evans said. Evans, who is a co-administrator of the late rapper's estate, claims the doc mostly uses old footage edited to rev up the drama, and she's not the only one taking issue with it. She said of Big's mother, Violetta Wallace, Miss Wallace is pissed. Everyone was blindsided. She has worked very hard for his legacy to be acknowledged in a more positive light. He's nominated for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This doc is taking steps backward. Evans adds she won't promote this episode. It's about my morals. I would never do business. I'm not proud of it at this point in my career. I'm not happy, she said. A rep for Lifetime didn't respond to requests for comment. Oh, oh see, see, there, there you go. go. There you go. go. The lies. There you the go. Lies. This bitch. The lies. The lies. All right, so like I said previously, guys, I don't believe anything about they didn't know what they were getting into. I believe they knew exactly what they were getting into. And being that Faith is married to Stevie J, I just feel like this is a paycheck for them. 
And so I'm not going to sit here and go so far to say that Biggie Moms is a lie. I don't think that Biggie Moms was aware of the situation. I think that Faith and Stevie J are behind this whole thing. And then they went to Biggie's mom trying to smooth things over. And now it seems like all of the collective parties are trying to smooth this over before it actually airs on January the 10th. That's just how I feel about this situation. Listen, I just feel that Faith is trying to smooth things over with Biggie's fans people that were close to Biggie because she knows what the documentary holds when it drops on January the 10th and she doesn't want people to come after her and it's almost like yo I didn't sign up for this y'all please excuse this documentary I don't support it but this is the thing if you wanted Lifetime to just talk about the positive things about your life why didn't you grab a lawyer to insist that this will not be about the negative things in your past, about Biggie, about Lil' Kim, about Pac, or Charlie Baltimore. Why didn't you take those drastic measures to cover your own <laughs> To ensure that Lifetime kept things honest and professional and to your liking. So no, I don't trust Faith Evans not one bit, especially someone that later on down the road went and married one of Biggie's best friends. I don't trust her. And this is the thing, she's saying that I won't support this and I'm not promoting this, but at the same time, I bet you she promoted that check into her bank account. You know what I'm saying? So it's all bull all bull But anyway, I'm gonna let this go and let y'all have that in the comments. Drop down and let a brother know what you think about the commentary within this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll get with you in the next video. Thanks for watching, peace.